Hello everybody, this is Bernie and Alex and we welcome you to our Hitchhiking Diary around the world where we will meet great people, see amazing places and show you how to travel cheap, like really cheap. <laughs> welcome back to our Hitchhiking Diary, we just entered our eighth country. Macedonia, here we exactly. come. Awesome, um, we went through the border crossing Sveti Naum and it's the same name as a famous monastery close by and that's where we'll go now and then have a quick dip there and then head straight into the mountains wow. so it's Alex's first time but I've already been here before and the main attraction in this very holy monastery is not some priest or some cathedral it's these peacocks <laughs> So Alex is now counting after a nice swim in the lake um, the money that we made today because there was this bridge close to Svetinam where everyone throws some coins in there like in this what is it in Rome uh, yeah, uh, which fountain? Yeah, some fountain. There's uh, a spring here. And of course, I went in with my goggles. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some money. Yeah, but you have to say the water is actually pretty cold, and he was in there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Crazy dude. <laughs> Gold rush. This is savage. And we got some olive oil, some bread. It's gonna be fantastic lunch <laughs> and this view. Yeah. So let's see how the hitching goes here in North Macedonia. So now that's ride one in Macedonia. Yeah, our first ride. Woo. <laughs> Thank you guys. They dropped us at a junction because we want to go to this national park, um, Galicica. And supposedly there's a really nice view up there. Alex is still very sick, so I don't know. Um, I wanted to do a hike there, but maybe it's just just me who's gonna do that. And um, yeah, let's see. I must have just time. So I don't think this... I don't take drinks for you. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So, this awesome guy is now driving us all the way up to a nice viewpoint to the lake, up the national park. Um, so what, how can you describe, what is the difference between Albanian and, Mon and Macedonian people? For me it's different because the people, the house, the country, the, the people's looking, I tell you, the people's looking just for, for make the money. Okay. Just for the make the money, just for losing uh, what you have, just for, that is criminal. For me it's, it's criminal country, I don't like it and I don't dare to say anything about that. And the, any any more about. and the Macedonians they are different. Macedonia is double different than Albania for me <laughs> for me for me is different. We have a lot of uh, people from Albania who is living there, and uh, he 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 means he means uh, he can uh, use all Macedonian place. Uh, like a big Albania, ah, that yeah. is big Albania. Like it doesn't respect and, uh, it and stuff. They made uh, four, five, six kids just just to be big and bigger and bigger and bigger. But for me, some days can have a okay. war or I don't know. Okay, I don't crazy. Know. I don't like war, but but uh, if uh, it's going uh, like that, yeah, it can happen. Oh, crazy! What religion are most people in Macedonia? Sorry? Which religion is most uh, people? It's, uh, Christians. Christian? Christians, yeah. Catholics. Also, Orthodox as well? Roms, uh, Turkish people, Muslims, yeah. Oh, quite I a mix know. of people, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah but 20% is Albanian, 8% uh, is uh, uh, 
Romy. And would you look at that view? All this here, they conquer it. Towards here, Albanian border. On the other side, it's the Greek border. Awesome. Goodbye. Miss you too. Okay, so I just left Alex behind. Um, um, I want to go on a peak, it's 700 meters of elevation. Um, it's 325. I give myself until 430, then I should be up there. Okay, I'm leaving the beach first now um, for some snow fields. I think up there, uh, it starts where the sun goes really strong. Let's see. So I'm now going parallel to the snow fields over there. They were quite slippery. But the cool thing is that on the way down, I'm gonna slide down these snow fields hard. <laughs> so on this very specific mountain, there's some climatical specialities, uh, specialties. So there's over a dozen plants that only live on this mountain in the whole world. So that's quite spectacular. So since I don't know much about flowers, I'm just taking a picture of every flower to show it to my father. <laughs> Love you. Okay, so 3.55, I'm precisely half an hour in. There's a little more than 200 vertical meters to go. So it should be quite feasible to hit the, the, the peak before one hour. Um, it's quite beautiful here. Look at that. You can see a bit of Presper Lake already. And over here, all of Ohrid. Woo! Okay. Woo! Uh, so, 48 minutes 30. That's quite a decent time. But I'm quite, quite done now. It's super windy here up on the peak. Um, I just had a problem with the phone storage. I was just recording and it turned out that the storage is full. So now I have to delete some videos, but check this view out. We have Pogradets and Albanian side of Lake Ohrid here, Macedonian side of Lake Ohrid, then Prespa Lake, Pelissa National Park and the Greek side of Prespa Lake. Okay, now I'm getting on my way to Alex. Now comes the fun part. There's just so many snow fields where I can slide down. No need to mention that I'm 10 times faster now. Awesome. When the snow is melting though, the water washes out some of the snow parts and you gotta be careful of that because there's some nice ankle breakers. I hiked up this way and now going down another way because going the same way down is boring. And this is the road where I started from and a beautiful lake in the background. <laughs> and it has been exactly one hour and 30 minutes until I came back to this cutie. <laughs> And now I'm gonna get some porridge. We are leaving this beautiful place. Goodbye. So we were brought by this amazing family to this nice viewpoint on Lake Prespa. You have here where this V is, that's where we came down. Oh, you can see Greece, Albania, Macedonia. And apparently the water level of the lake is decreasing with every yeah. Now it's here and it used to be like back at the sun beat like at the sun beds here. Now they had to move everything. <laughs> wow. We look a bit tired, huh? <laughs> so we were now it's almost midnight. Um it's with a very the, unusual time for us to be awake. <laughs> with our hitchhiking ride, they invited us for dinner at their home and now Another couchsurfing guy replied to my message and he said he is already full, his house is full, but we can pitch our tent in the garden. So that's what we're gonna do and then go for some nice sleep.
and good morning, Miss Cherry Lover. We're here at the Couchsurfing host. It was a bit messy, but we liked it. And we're now heading into the city center to a supermarket, if that's still necessary. Okay, so shopping here is amazing. Instead of paying for this uh, 150, we take this here, one kilogram for 180. Currently at the market, trying to find some good carrots and maybe strawberries. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Sit down though, washing the carrots. We were asking at the market if they have some old vegetables that they cannot sell anymore. And they gave us quite a bunch of broccoli. They gave us broccoli, radish, um, some carrots and also bought carrots and we have some strawberries. <laughs> so you have the market in the background. In general, Bitola does not have a lot to offer, but we think that the market was actually quite awesome. Really awesome. And we're on our way. Woo! And the guys from Scott Pierre are full. <laughs> it's a good spot though. Okay, so it was 45 minutes that we've waited here on the outskirts uh, of Bitola and two hours to stop here. Yeah. We were taken by a teacher of the faculty of technical yes, science. Yes, professor and faculty of technical science in Bitola. Amazing. Electrical science, engineering. You're crazy. Chashi! Oh. Yes! Macedonian. Look at this, that's where they get their marble from. It's close to Prilep and it's very famous for the marble. We got a truck full of marble block here. <laughs> and after a minute of waiting at the gas station, we were picked up by a lovely family from Veles and they bring us to Kavadarci now. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, wow, I get quite a good color. Um, this guy here, he just offered us to, to go for a coffee and then think if we, because it's gonna start raining soon. We want to sleep at his house. And it's only him and his mother and she's a bit old. <laughs> kind of reminds me of, of uh, Sicily and when we hitchhiked the, the dude who was living with his mother in the same room and we slept there. <laughs> wow, some vegetables. That's the dream. Mm. And grappa. And right before he was drinking a shot of olive oil and apple vinegar, this one is self made. I think. Yeah. Okay, Boris invited us for coffee and orange to choose in the city. And now we sit and talk and enjoy. And. Uh, and yeah, today at night we spend the night at his place and then go and head towards the Bulgarian border tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we leave tomorrow at 5.30 with him because he has to go to work. And it's, I think it's past 11 and we're still eating we're still and eating. eating. And having he just drinks, brings having coffee, glass having... after glass, <laughs> cocktail after cocktail. Thank you. <laughs> It's very good. So the thing is, we're now at the, the guy that invited us. Um, what I find or what we find quite annoying is that in the Balkans, since the, the tobacco is very cheap, everyone is smoking all the time. And that makes our like, clothes and everything um, quite smell smelling. quite bad. So that's a and bit annoying. And it's not good for the lungs. <laughs> yeah, even, even just smoking passively is probably not the best. Um, yeah, and also our eyes get really swollen the next morning, so that's a bit of a nuisance. But I guess it's worth taking that, that risk. We are still for... super thankful for everything and everyone yeah. who's taking us, who's inviting us. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. Super mama. Super mama. Super, 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 super. Good morning, everybody. It is very early and <laughs> the whole house is, is looking for my shoe. Huh? Because apparently a dog stole my shoe 
And now we gotta look for it. God damn it. We found other shoes, single shoes, and we might have the, I don't know, perpetrator. Schlimm. Bei welchem war er? Ich hoffe, er ist noch rein. Welches elende Mischstück. Oh, und ihr seid aber schlimm. Ja, weg, 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 weg. And another good morning. It's day 31 and we're already on the Macedonian highway. At we want to go to Strumica. Six o'clock, very early. Six o'clock. But the sun is already hitting. No, it's not that hot. It's hitting. <laughs> it's so hot. Um, yeah, there's not much traffic here. Um, but our guy had to go to work. Can you just hold the phone like a normal person? <laughs> Easy. Okay. Well, then can we Deutsch reden? So this legend here, what is your name? Dobre. Dobre. Um, he picked us up and he now goes to Orlando with us. Alex is very happy. She was waving like crazy on the road. Like, please take us! <laughs> wow, so our amazing ride brought us to this hidden monastery. We would have never come here. Close to Valando. Yeah. And it's a paradise full of shade. And after a minute of waiting, a truck stopped for us. Strumica! Where are you going? Where you go? Where is it? Lake Doira. On the way to Strumica. Ah, oh, shit. Where do you live? Here, yeah, you go to work now. Yes. Yeah. Second try gets us to Strumica. So what we like doing is that we spend our last um, little little money. Um, we go in a bakery and just tell them um, we have 20 dinar. What can we get with it? So that's like we have 20 cent. What can we get with it? A good bread. So we got some bread. Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they bought us an energy drink. <laughs> so look at. Who is watching us hitchhiking? A stork mama. And you cannot see in the video, but she has two babies right now. It's amazing. They are super cute. Alex is in love. Okay, so this guy is now taking us to the Bulgarian border. We got a murchinka, something like this. It's a local drink. I don't like it, but we drink it. So you have to have this. Macedonia, Bulgaria. <laughs> okay, so this guy here, he has some, I don't know, police record or some problems, so he cannot cross the border by car, so he's also walking with us now. So, we are surpassing all the cars. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much for joining our hitchhiking diary here in Macedonia, North Macedonia. Um, to be honest, um, I don't know, it, 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 we, we, we didn't like vibe here. It, it wasn't it our It was different country. than in like Albania, I don't yeah. know, we just... We didn't feel it, so we decided to... To, to keep going a bit faster than... The new, a new country. I'm sure there's like lots of stuff to see in Macedonia and we did see quite a bunch of stuff, but um, I don't know. Sometimes you, you can't like everything, so sometimes you just have to skip something. Yeah, and um, yeah. we did meet awesome people and the everyone, hospitality is yeah. great and everyone invites everyone us to stuff. Everyone was super nice. So, so I don't know why, but... I think it's because of us. I think we... We're probably the problem. Yeah. But yeah, now we're heading to Bulgaria. So thanks a lot. Woo, bye. Thank you guys for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you want to see more of these videos in the future, consider subscribing to our channel and click on one of these videos. Until then... Safe travels.